This will be my last day working with Gavin. I think it's time for kind of our working relationship to end. I'm sorry, tough decision that I had to make. I hope you learn from it. I hope you grow from it. What's up, GOAT fam? It's your GOAT, Brian. Um, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, make sure to obviously like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. So you never miss a video when Gavin uploads. And obviously, most of you know probably who I am. My name is Brian. I'm Gavin's uh, videographer and editor. We've been working together for about a year, a little over a year. Lots of crazy memories, good ones, some bad ones, some dramatic ones, some crazy ones. Um, and if you've kind of been a fan of Gavin since day one, then you've seen probably a lot of that. But as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, um, this will be my last day working with Gavin. And uh, this is the last video that I will be uh, editing for him. But that's what he thinks because today, woo, this video is a long time coming. It's been a, it's been in the works. I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a long time. We are going to be pranking Gavin today, saying that I'm quitting being his videographer editor. He probably might know this is this is coming, but I, he has no idea. Obviously, he's pranked me before, as you guys have seen. Let's roll the clips. Where's my car? Did they take my car? I'm gonna tell them that you already like have me. They said like like they've already got like a cameraman and like everything and like And sometimes he can be kind of annoying, it gets on my nerves, he likes to just kind of poke fun. Um, but I mean I, I assume that it's in a uh, a, a warm-hearted uh, manner or with a warm-hearted like intent behind it. So today I've got everyone else except him is kind of in on it and um, I'm gonna have two hidden cameras in the goat room, not the goat room, uh, my little office area. I'm gonna bring him and Teresa in there and I'm gonna sit them down kind of explain I'm just gonna write, make up some story saying that I've just I have some other job offers I've been really thinking considering this for a while I think it's time for kind of our working relationship to end I'm not really sure how he's gonna react hopefully he doesn't catch on that this is a prank I'm gonna have to really pull out my acting skills for this one and I'm not really a great actor but hopefully uh, I'll have Teresa to kind of play off of but this one is gonna be um, kind of dramatic as are most of Gavin's videos. Right now I kind of just like drove away from the house and I'm around the corner just filming this in my car because I didn't want him to obviously hear me and see me and suspect anything. So now I'm gonna head back to the house kind of discreetly show you guys where the hidden cameras are and then we'll get right to the prank. Gavin for watching this which I assume you are. I'm sorry uh, I had to do it. It's been a long time coming. You and I both know this. I've been joking about it for months and now it's finally here, so let's get into it. All right guys, the first hidden camera is right there, which will capture me, because I'll be sitting right there. And then there's a little GoPro hidden right there, which will capture, uh, not Jake, you'll be gone, but uh, Teresa and Gavin's reaction. Obviously, I've been like, like kind of here, and, and it's been kind of like a um, kind of like a test, like to see if like how like really like well we can like work together. You know, it definitely has brought out some things in, in certain people and some like habits in certain people, and, and myself included. But um, I talked with Teresa about it last night, and um, I'm gonna finish uh, filming and the edits this weekend, and then Monday I am 
Done what? I have a few other opportunities that have been kind of presented to me, and I feel like it's a uh, kind of a time in my career where, like, I think it's the right move. And there's just been a lot of things, like, especially like kind of yesterday, it like not just yesterday, the last like, couple of days when we're trying to like do stuff. It's it's very difficult, and. I, I was given these like these couple of offers a couple of days ago, and I mean, I told him I was like, I'm gonna take a few days to think about it. I'm not allowed to like, discuss any names or any um, companies or anything. And I told him I'm gonna take a few days to really think about it and think if it's the right decision for my career and the right decision for kind of like what I want to continue to do in um, as far as like my like endeavors kind of go. And so. Um, like I said, um, Monday will be kind of the day that. Um, we so we have to find another editor. I told you. What are you doing? What? What? You're joking? No, I'm not sure. I've been crying for two days, and I've been trying to keep saying, "Mom, what's wrong?" And I just can't. First of all, and also, you know, a lot of it is that Brian is. You know, like he tries to put up with you guys, and you're always, I don't know, whatever. You're always doing. I've been good. Yesterday, it was it was tough, and I, I told you for weeks to kind of like you set the example. What and are like, you? Yesterday, obviously, when other people are here, whether it's like Coco or anyone else, like you have to like. No, you, you should have heard me. I told like, like I like when Coco literally came in, I go like let's like let's respect Brian today because like he's been like I literally told Coco that. I okay well. Even when I was like trying to get y'all's attention to like stop moving around when we were trying to take photos, that was prob like it hasn't been that hard in a while. I I know you well like, enough to like know this. when you're actually like really serious about something. And I've been obviously putting a lot of work in lately. Like yeah, I and I just like I, I, I told the um the presenters of this opportunity that like I, I would take a few days to think about it and I decided to take it. And um, what so is it? I'm not allowed to discuss it. They, they, I signed an agreement with them, and I'm not allowed to uh, talk about it. And That's why I always say, so what are you going to do with all your stuff? Um, Monday, I'm going to have to move it out. I'm just gonna, I have to I'll order like stuff from my place in Hollywood. I'll go back there. I'll kind of clear everything out. It's mine. And just got to figure out the podcast, too, because like that's something. Well, yeah, what are we going to do with that? I can look around for a couple of editors who might know kind of who are like skilled enough to take on that kind of thing and um Earl I told you this was gonna happen. I told you, I told you, I told you. I asked you so many times but nobody ever listens to me so you know I told you so many times that Brian's gonna get sick of it. Brian's gonna get mad because like constantly like the kids don't listen to him and like he does triple the work he Constantly. I completely have so only the best editor out there, too. I know. I completely have 100% respect, Brian. And I know I take it too far. But, like, there's been, because, like, I feel like every. But I, I completely I feel like every, you, and, I, and I want you to know that I have so much of the utmost respect for you. So that's, this, that's, this, like, that's like. This your, is the conversation that I hear, like, every other month. Because we'll have this conversation, like, every other month. And then a month down the road, it's like the conversation was never even had. Like that can't that cycle, like can't keep happening because it makes my job way harder. Because this podcast, I mean, yesterday, like I, I whipped this thing together in twenty four hours. Yeah, no one else does that. No one no else. No one else. Do I was so cool. like stressed about it, and I, I know you can see that. But like, obviously, I wanted to make it good because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just do a terrible job. Like I'm gonna give it 110 percent because I don't like to show anyone anything less. Yeah. My work. I've I've been thinking about it. Like I haven't been able to sleep very well the last couple nights. I've been just thinking about either. this like constantly. And I made my decision. Monday I'll be clearing out what I can uh, from this room. And like I said, I'll try to reach out to a few editors who I know are kind of looking for work. And I'll refer them to you. I can't believe it's like going to be stupid without Ryan. All the content will already be done for next week. So next week's 
square away. So I have at least like a week or so to find someone else. I'm sorry. This has been a really tough decision I had to make. I hope you learn from it. I hope you grow from it. I hope you tell whoever. What are you gonna do with your bearded dragon that you literally got a cage? I'm gonna. And I'll, you literally did so much work and all this. I'll take it back. No, it's just like the I'll make it work. Like, I, I'm, I've already kind of. I've already. already I've, I've looked at sword units already. I'll move like my desk and stuff. I just feel like we all grew together so much. Yeah, and it's, it's just so much so stuff. Stuff. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It's like we're all family. I have to look out. Too. They have to look out for yourself. So oh, I, I have to kind of put me first and the last, like. It was really hard, so I'll think of two videos today to film, figure it out, I'll get them taken care of, I'll make sure that the next person has what they need, uh, resource-wise and post-production-wise. Like, what if Gavin was good? I don't know. I can be the best. I'm already done. But I didn't know that you get this challenge. I've been telling you this for weeks, and it like, like no months that there's so many instances that have happened that people who do what I do have been like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do this anymore because of how just like Gosh, not unprofessional, but just how ridiculous like some of the stuff has been and some of the stuff I've had to deal with. A lot of people will be like, no, like peace. I'm like I'm not gonna call you back. And uh, yeah, we because like everything is we don't do we do I creative. You're the you're the product of the of the the show, and then we've got our friends. But Brian is like like he's the machine that makes it run. Who else is there out there? Who are we gonna get to do? Like I can't even think of somebody. I don't know. You need to talk to Brian. You need to try to figure this out, Gavin. I'm done. You guys talk about it. I can't. I can't. You guys have to figure this out. I can't. What are we gonna do? <laughs> You're probably thinking you're gonna change my mind, but my like I've, I've given so many chances, and I I have to look out for me and do what's best for my career. But I I, I just lost I some think, of my best friends, and now you're gonna leave my life. Yeah. You're really gonna do that to me? Because if you really think that's okay, then. I mean, obviously you do what's best for you, but like, that's like, that's like messed up on another level. And I know, like, I can be bad. I, I do everything, like, all my jokes, everything, I do it out of love, and I know well, some of them can be, you know, kind of go far and too far. You say that, like, every single time. And I know I say that every single time, and I... And then it just, it just continuously, it, like, it never, never improves. Knew, I, I never, never knew, improves. I never knew that it would get this serious, and I apologize so much, and I you think it wouldn't get this serious? No, I didn't. Dude, I've been like so stressed the last week, two weeks, three weeks. I've been busting my butt to like, I know. to make sure that your content is good. Like you don't realize how much like work I really, really do. I do so much. Sometimes there's just like instances where I don't feel appreciated. I don't feel like respected. Cause yeah, we're like we've grown close, but that still doesn't change the fact that I'm 27. I'm an adult. I deserve like the professional respect that any other creator, videographer, editor, director, whatever would get from you. It's just like a switch. Whenever you're with someone new, it's like, all right, I see it. This is the Gavin that I want to work with. The whenever. It comes back to like me, and it's like, okay, it's my turn to take the driver's seat. It's like you're you're totally different. You're a different person. And I I told like I've tried to tell you so many times. I just don't know what to do anymore. Like this time, it's it's for good. I'm gonna bring your mom back in here because while I'm still here, I'll do what I have to do. I'll take care of what needs to be taken care of. Hey Brian, let me talk to him for a minute. Let me just try to figure this out. Maybe can't you try to talk to him? Maybe he'll listen to you. He wouldn't listen to me. Can you try? I mean, that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Just sit here and say, okay? Okay.
paint dry like no one's like he just i don't think for, i mean i couldn't talk him into it but you could at least try to talk him into talking to stain do you think it's because you, you're not you don't listen to him and stuff what do you think it is where do you think he's going okay listen i couldn't talk him into it he wouldn't have nothing to do with me and nothing so you're going to talk to him because he's not listening to me like he literally shut me down so much and i asked him if there's anything that i didn't he said no maybe you tell him that Maybe what if you told him, like, I'll change completely. I swear to God, I'll never do it again. I just feel like he grew, and then he's just leaving us, you know? I don't know. Will you please try it, Gavin? We can't do anything without Brian. I swear to God, I'm about to break his computer and all this equipment. Why? Are you mad at him? I'm So then tell him how you really feel and try to save it, please. I did. I told him. I was like, you were like, I just lost, like, my best friends. And, like, he's going to do this to me now. Have you really tried to talk to me to say that, like, you did? No, I'm not trying. I'm trying harder. Tell him with conviction, though, because, like, just think that. Right? You didn't talk to him. You must have talked to him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I Change my whole personality to have you. I, I put that on my mom. I put that on everything I love. And no, I put that on God. Bro, for you. Bro, we. We did it. Bro, I, I helped you go on Instagram. I helped you. Like, and you're just gonna leave me like this. I helped. Not only did you help me with so much, but I helped you with so much. I gave you so many great opportunities. And you gave me so many great opportunities. We did so many things for each other, and the fact that you're gonna do this is messed up on a whole nother level. Because you, you knew how much I cared about you. you. No matter how much I showed it or I didn't, you knew that I cared about you more than anyone that I cared about. You were someone I could always go to, to whether that was talk to or do anything. And you're just gonna, and I just lost. I've been losing so many friends. So much bad stuff has been happening to me lately, and you're gonna do this. Hold on, I want to show you something on this one. What's this deep card? It's a clip that um that kind of shows like what I'm talking about. Just the stuff that just can't happen, like okay. not only to me, but to like anyone ever again. So um, did you see this uh this uh GoPro right here? I knew it was a prank. It was all fake. I knew it was we got you. No, I knew it was a prank. We got you. So no, I knew it was we got you so my mom, bad. My mom, my mom isn't that dramatic. And we I knew, got and you, I knew you would so never do that. good. I knew you guys would never do got that. Got you. <laughs> I know I knew it was a prank. He was he like, oh, where's the camera? I knew it was a prank. I was like, I was like, because I saw this and this looked exactly like a lens right here. <laughs> I, it was, you it just, not know no, I, <laughs> you went over to here to like look at the camera because it was sitting oh, that would, right that here. Been, you know how messed up that would have been if you did that to me? <laughs> you know how messed up that would have been. what do you think? We got so much. I got you. I got you. So, uh, I got you good. You have to. I knew it was a prank. I, no, you did not. I knew it was a prank. You literally um, walked up to the desk to be like, oh, is camera on? And it, it wasn't on. I thought so. I was gonna get something. I was like, I was like, what? You thought what? I thought I was like gonna get. I thought the camera was on. And I was like, <laughs> you're gonna figure out. I thought I was gonna figure it out. No. Like, and then I was like, oh no, I didn't see the cameras. And I was like, I had them hidden. I had them hidden really well. Uh, they obviously saw them beforehand. You know what else is hidden? What? Your payment for next month. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, Brian's making me do an outro for some reason because you know I didn't know about this video. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video when I upload. You guys are amazing. Stay awesome. Follow us on Instagram. If you're getting pranked and you already feel like it, make sure to look for cameras with the GoPro. Look for the blinking light. If you don't see a red blinking light, because Brian taped his look for a lens that has a glare. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Man, I'm not good at this. You know what? Gavin, where are you going, bro? Come on. Since you told me you were quitting. Gavin. I'm quitting too. Where are you trying to go, bro? Okay, where are you about to go right now? There's literally nowhere you can go. Come on, dude. Whose car is that? Wait, is that Mikey's car? Gavin, come back, bro. Wait, seriously? Okay, bye.